Boulder, the Mile High City here at Mile High Chiropractic, and you are in for a very special treat, my friends. One of my favorite humans on the planet is uh, right now to my stage left. He's joining us, Dr. Donnie Epstein, and of course, our good friend, Liam Schubel. <laughs> Dan okay, did you get the photo? We're getting the picture We're with Dan Lemberger, and we are getting a photo right here. Ready? One, two, three, go. And would you mind if I took a selfie? Sure. What, what would oh, be a Liam Schubel appearance a without a selfie? Right now. You, 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 you and your friend uh, Danny Knowles have the same affliction. <laughs> same <laughs> affliction. One, two. All right, perfect. I think right, they guys. should rename it. It shouldn't be the selfie. It should be the Schubel. <laughs> well, I, I'm going to take a Schubel, everyone. I would certainly uh, vote for that. Dr. Lemberger, Dr. Epstein, thank you for being uh, here on Thanks, IFCO Liam. Television. Uh, folks, if you've been living under a rock, uh, you may not have heard of Dr. Donald Epstein. <laughs> Uh, certainly, uh, he's moving the profession, moving the puck forward, moving humanity forward in the transformation and evolution of human potential. And I'm very honored to have him here uh, as our guest today. Dr. Donnie, welcome to the program. I it's brought in Dr. Uh, Dan Lemberger as well because oh I have to tell you, sometimes, uh, Dr. Hott, you're so far ahead of everything that it takes me a while with my brain to catch up. So, so he's translating. He's going to do some <laughs> translation here. So uh, welcome to the program, Dr. Epstein. Uh, very excited to have you here. Uh, it's great to be here. What are some of the uh, the exciting things that you have going on? I will say first, why are you here at Mile High uh, sharing? Because uh, I know you don't have to. You have you just got finished with a, a powerful program uh, that's in huge demand. Why are you here sharing uh, at Mile High? Well, first of all, um, Mile High is a great movement, and our son Danny, Danny Knowles, is the one who put it together, and with Michelle. It sends signals out in the organs form. The signals, I believe, are an acoustic wave consistent with a person's mathematical signature, which is generated by the network wave, which self-organizes the signals, and from then the organs form. If there's not enough, if the system is altered in its tension pattern, then A, it alters the frequency of the signal, altering the form created. And if you want to look at look cymatics, C-Y-M-A-T-I-C-S, cymatics, and it's a science of how acoustic wave changes form. The reason anything of solid nature forms is because innate intelligence, the actual vibrational frequency of those atoms create the form. The nervous system coordinates that, but it needs enough energy. At each level of care, at each different type of organizing intelligence, it needs more energy to organize a more complex system. And all of this interacts with the environment. And this is a key, a key, key point here. When you, when you hear, what are you hearing? Hearing is a change in connect, connect molecular activity of the subtle field around you. What is, what is sight? You're picking up subtle energy in the photon content and information content in photons in the subtle field around you. What is smell? A change in subtle energy in the field around you in the polaric charge, taste, the dissolved substances. From this, you make a picture of what the world is like. It's not that. The job of the nervous system, as I see it, is to allow the individual to interact with its field around you and compare that with your conditioning and from that make a picture of the world. Why is this important? Epigenetics, epigenetics, and Chris talks about it all the time. Epigenetics is associated with 80, up to 80% of gene expression. I just read a paper today saying that Hala could survive his children. Oh, yeah. And now this epigenetics goes to jet grandchildren, regulates influence in gene expression. And I'm looking at what is it? I believe we need to, as this individual gets coherent in here, energetically, they then export what's chaos in here out to the field, thermodynamically into the field. The nervous system then replays that. I believe the real impact of the chiropractic confession is the field effect between doctor and patient, whether what Sid talked about or whether what, or what Living Principle talked about. There's articles that now are coming out real saying that therapeutic ritual, medical therapeutic ritual, creates the placebo effect. What the placebo effect, get this, is the placebo effect is defined as anomalous healing that is not about the condition, it's about the person changing the meaning of the way they live their life also. And they're saying, different researchers are now saying, it's published in journals, the field mediates the healing change. Information is in the field, not the body. The body interacts with the field. 
to what we're seeing in network and in chiropractic here specifically, as the system organizes, if it's not just dealing with it, it has an impact on the field. And I believe coherency to distance, not just here, it's been here in the field. That's where chiropractic changed the world. That's where I believe the group tables come in. That's where I believe it's no such an individual healing response, the group healing response. And doctors, please study these things. Study the interaction. Study, go on and learn more because you're going to find that chiropractic has been find, defined by a series of principles that was based upon academic and social models that have grown up. We impact the world in a bigger way, and I know that. And my goal, my gig, my gift for the profession, my promise is that you make your chiropractic applications, you make the goal you have for patients, you make the outcomes you use, you have the conversation you have consistent with the highest goal of what the principal produces, irrespective of the, what you've learned now. We have to step up now. We have to step up in every level and realize we impact humanity in a far greater way than you thought and the most about chiropractic applications and the objectives clinically, technically, cannot deliver what the profession offers big enough yet because we need to change the way we see the spine. We think of a, a, a fixed nervous system, movable vertebra. The whole spinal cord's moving, the whole system's moving. We think that the nervous system controls all body parts and functions. No, something else controls the nervous system. The nervous system is an agent that translates experiences with the field. We impact that in a greater level. And I'm not looking to put anything down. I'm saying we have to grow up. It's time for the dogma to be replaced by what's the highest goal we can give for people. What do we have available in our professions and how can other research help us upgrade the service that we're providing? Donnie, I had the opportunity to be at one of your healings in paradise uh, last year, and it was phenomenal. And I think you, you in that uh, group, you start, uh, you're working with Epstein Energetics, uh, I think. That's right. Term, and, and you talk a lot about that, uh, that idea that there's an unlimited amount of energy that we can tap That's into. Right. And, and, and can you explain a little bit about that? Yes. So I have to develop different fields. Um, I'm hedging the bets. I'm not sure which discipline is going to reach threshold to help humanity to wake up and make a change. That's it. Right now, all the chiropractors, the chiropractic profession does not, has not had enough of a social impact, no matter what has done, and even the greatest stuff, for example, a retrospective study, schools aren't presenting it. It's not on websites. Right. Where is it? No one has repeated it. So hedging my bets, I said, I'm going to find a way to take these principles out the world in all different areas, to all different disciplines, so there could be a whole cultural phenomenon of people waking up to the impact of that, and the why the spine is important as a mediator of function, a mediator of emotion, a mediator of, of a sense of self, uh, a mediator of, of the uh, spiritual aspect. The chiropractic profession all healing arts are based upon the concept that there is energy that's bound in trauma, it's bound up, and it's disassociated, it's alienated. The subluxation is somehow a mediation of that process of, of saying, I can't experience this experience. It's downsizing the experience. It's downsizing the in energy. It's downsizing the physical form of the body house. And the spine is a representation of that in the care we give. And as we intervene at the spine, it, inter it allows all these other systems to create a change. The limitation of that is this, and I've been developing teaching models for 30 years. And the limitation of that model is that in order to have greatness, we have to have a painful backstory. To have a real great something, we have to have a wounding. To have to have a great future, we had to have something miserable happen to us. In this model, violence is required to release unbound energy. Violence politically, violence socially, violence in relationship. To finally get the economy to have this money with so much money bound up in certain people and not others, it's never been such a big discrepancy. Mm -hmm. There's gonna have to be a stock market crash, gonna have to political unrest every country it happens because violence is necessary to unbind energy so it could be distributed in the system. Right. Chiropractic, we can help systems be so effective that it doesn't need as much violence to release it. You could use, the spine could help, help that happen. And I said there's something else, the sun is unbound energy, love is unbound energy. This is a different discipline. This will call reorganizational living. I'm developing that. That's what's going to corporations, but they also need healing practitioners too. Yeah. 
and the healing professions is about state boards, are about all the regulatory agencies, about binding energy to control it. The model is there's a limited resource, only a few people have it. Yep. To get something, you have to get your piece of the pie. Right. If not, you have to use violence to attack the system. That's it. All of healthcare, healthcare takes it. The sicker a person is, the more violence they use against the body. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it is. And they, cancer is so much bound to energy, they use the most violent stuff of it. And the doctor is violence in the communication of patients. You want to get your children to, to change, you have to use violence. Enough of this. A second tier of conscience says there's something else. There's an unlimited resource for all of it. We don't live in one time space dimension. We live in multiple time space dimensions. And science shows us multiple dimensions. It's not just one that heals. Multiple versions of us have to heal. And I believe this wave we have connects each version of the different time space so people can wake up at once. This is weird. I know this is going far out, but I'm telling you, I got, Donnie Epstein stretches you. I got to stretch you because we have to wake up. We, with what we know, we cannot afford for us to be asleep and say what's politically correct. We have to say what's real. And we have to research, we have to produce what's real. So I develop another discipline out, developing outside the healthcare arena because it's not under political control. The field around 20 years ago, one of my coaches and advisors politically said, you have to find a way to help people with the field around the body because that is not regulatable and you could say truth and practice truth. So I found that, that I found a way of taking the energies for the bioenergetic and the emotional, the two mental intelligence, spiritual intelligences that we liberate in network as the body gets in different postures, different positions, and found a way like a magnifying lens to amplify in the bio field around you to activate those intelligences. People's spines get extraordinary changes. It's another way of saying it, looking at it. I take this model and say, this is it. When you have pure awareness, you can purely be aware of what's going on in life without a story. When you can be with a symptom without a story, just trying to change it, magic happens. When you be with your husband or wife and your wife saying, but this, but this, and you just show up with presence, guys, and just show up and be with her, suddenly after it changes. Love does that, enthusiasm does that. We talk about coherence. What makes a winning sports team? They practice the same way. They have the same game. Somebody gets a wife, somebody, a wife and, somebody gets married in trouble with the wife, somebody else has trouble with the kids, someone else, suddenly the collective field has less energy available for the intelligence that don't perform the way. I'm suggesting the energy around us in the field determines how we think. Right now we're creating synergy here. This synergy is allowing us to think different thoughts. That's what I've taken to the corporate world. It's not network, it's not area, it's the fact that if you have full awareness and understand how a system operates, the system will start changing. That's why a network, I want to understand how the spine is working. I want the person to speak to the person about the level of care, what it means. I want the person to give their own experience of what's going on in the care. Collectively, it creates this free energy in the field. With free energy, we don't have to have revolution. We can wake up and have evolution that way. New business models are coming up where all of a sudden people are going to India and helping sell things to people they really need. If they could sell to 2.7 billion people who are in less than $2 a day, what they need, new water, new food, different things like that, suddenly they'll have more energy, they'll have more resources, the more coherency between people. And it's a different world. So we're at a cr crossroads between bound energy systems and I see chiropractic as the boundary between that and purpose of network I see is to go between the bound and unbound energy systems and the culture and other aspects of life. But what's the key thing happening in the profession? Trying to control it. They're trying to control the bound energy so no one helps liberate too much unbound energy or potential. Why? Because they can't control it. Right. D.J. Palmer said, the inhibited starve history, uninhibited make history. We must be uninhibited, allow other people to be uninhibited, and make sure we're delivering it effectively. And this to my doctors too. My doctors are taking care of people and watching how people make great life changes. And I'm saying, yeah, but what's doing the C1, C2 motor unit? Yeah. See, I'm not teaching people to correct subluxations anymore. Because that's a strategy. I'm saying develop a higher order of spinal neural integrity and coherence so the body can self-regulate. But doctors, you got to still make sure those things are being handled. But if your whole goal is to correct the subluxation, you're not going to develop the systems that help organize them in their life. So I think where the carpet professor has to make sure is make sure subluxations are being self-regulated while another in new emerging innate strategies never happen before emerging for individuals' humanity. 
And Dan, you want to translate it any other way? <laughs> uh, the, there's a wave of change coming in the world and either you try to hold it back and resist what's inevitable or you really get on and ride and make it happen and you know are you able to be able to deliver that at your highest level it sounds to me uh, if i could translate that uh, we're bringing about a wise world is that what you say it was <laughs> <a wise world. laughs> it sounds like what and speaking of wise world wise world seminars uh, Donnie, what types of programs do you have that the people uh, watching could get involved in? And, and on that too is that um, Donnie's going to be speaking this afternoon. He's going to be covering some of these concepts and where, you know, say 5, 10, 15 years ago, some of the concepts like universal intelligence seems so weird or innate yeah. intelligence seems so weird. But they're, they're actually stuff that people talk about every single day, but just in different terms. And that's Donnie's presentation this afternoon where he's going to be integrating that. But if you go to wiseworldseminars.com slash mile high, you can sign up, uh, just send your email, and you'll get some videos which cover the stuff that Donnie okay. was talking about. Okay, so wiseworldseminars.com slash mile high mm -hmm. and um, get some of that. But maybe you mentioned some of those programs. So. Uh, the network spinal analysis, mm -hmm. uh, there's the basic seminars they are given, right. which teach people a metal method of integrating spinal nerve integrity and how it dissipates tension in the brain and spinal cord and self helps itself organize, no matter what care you're doing. Yeah, you, you that, that's, that's a correct. good point. I've seen a lot of people using that to get better results no matter what their, right. their, their techniques are. You know, most people, no matter what it is, dabble in most stuff, do a little bit of yeah. that. And some decide to be master. My path is master. Sure. At this point, the only people I'm teaching are people whether it be, uh, and who want to have mastery of their relationships in the field to make a different change in the world. It's that, that's my gig. Is I've been 30 years in teaching technique, and technique is only going to get so and so far, mm -hmm. and technique is important. We teach it, and you have to use that, and you have to develop a bigger construct on being a master and working with people to create change. Yeah. I mean, that's just what's happening. Mm -hmm. So we have those seminars, and then the more advanced seminars. We totally revamped that. The, those seminars and there's tremendous amount of resource, including my doing demonstrations from people, my giving talks oh, online. Wow. So when people sign up for a seminar, they get tremendous amount of content. Great. You get and to have Donnie in your office. That's pretty much it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, had, we had professional cinematographers stuff record us. We had oh, wow. prints of work. Tremendous amount of material on things more than ever before available. So we have different instructors teaching it, but you get me to study it, basically, is if I'm doing the seminar with you, get a coat, camera shots, whole bunch of material we have those seminars then we have hands-on workshops there that would be the path to mastery is that, that, that the series well, well, no that that's okay. the, that's the network spinal analysis okay. and we have more increasing seminars on that okay. the transfacial gate is the gig okay maybe six or seven thousand people have done it yeah, over 25 years of the seminars this is where you go and i give talks before every session on the energetic intelligence the level of care how the energy is used how contacts are held what the objective is you experience the group field effect here. I'm in the room not doing that. I'm also actually amplifying the energy of the field so there's more free energy in the room while the bound energy is there. We have top doctors looking at people to help advance strategies in your spine and nervous system. Not just as healthcare practitioners here. They're acting to guide you in developing new emerging properties and strategies through the informational systems of your body, through the spine, which helps advance NSA strategies. You have class on somatorespiratory integration, another discipline I developed, which is basically activates the vagus system whilst networking chiropractic drops the sympathetic tone, this builds the parasympathetic tone. It's now been shown that the vagus nerve, the main nerve of the parasympathetic system, the front of the body, not only does it regulate the immune system, it regulates social interactive behavior wow. and healthcare. So we help activate that because they found each state level of consciousness has a different way of moving, breathing, etc. So we learn to activate each of the states of consciousness on your own. When it's you and the four walls, you could do this. When patients have very few questions about chiropractic, ask about themselves. This talks about the healing and development process, and these exercises can help them tremendously. We will soon be having an actual course on reorganization of living, understanding many of the concepts of the intelligence and the try to change. And, and what seasons a person has, and they'll have anatomy, physiology, and things open for the lay people with the program on somatic respiratory integration. That's the first of a series helping even lay people create a culture for how do I improve my life? Right. And for practitioners who want to know how to bridge between the healing and living, because ultimately, practitioners are excited people living more life more effectively. Yeah. So we have that, that program. Then there are Donnie Premier programs where I work with my, my second year of conscience discipline where we have changing waves on people. You don't have to have network care. 
you have instantly the body will reorganize a new level you have a new experience you literally exchange you into a higher version of you it sounds weird it is weird it's the weirdest stuff you may ever see in the world and it makes one of the biggest shifts for those people who aren't so healing is not the primary idea it's being a higher version of you you can express that that organize the potential where you now have your focus on the field between you and others. Here, in healing, we say, how do we affect the field? Here, how do I live from the field out? What is a whole different gig? And I'll just keep, once one thing develops, I'll just keep developing another thing. I'll keep more and more and more. Why? Because every way that I can create the impact to help people move to the second level of consciousness where we realize there is no limitation of time and space. In this model, there is no one technique that makes a difference. It's your personal interaction with understanding your nature. To the unself be true. This is the bottom line in all my technologies, in all different disciplines, now in the future, when you find a source of available energy and bring it with presence to any system consistent with its self-organizing innate nature. That's the key. And that's where the study and network is. What is your nature? Then inject this, what is your nature? So matter of integration, how do you organize the body, structure, perception, behavior? What's your unique way? Consistent with the nature, the system will spontaneously, effortlessly evolve to a higher order. And it's not what we want for our people. Of course. It's enforced the missing link. Yeah. And the key thing, we think it's our large external force. Right. There's enough force in the system that's unaccepted and unbound. This is weird, how does such a low force make a difference? The biggest difference in your life has been the small things done frequently right. over and over. If you are tapping into innate expression, I can promise you that person's innate intelligence wants that person to heal involve much greater than your clinical skills. That's what saves us all. But now put the attention on that and see, is it really working? Excellent. Yeah. I got to tell you, Dan, do you have something else to add there? I don't have anything to add oh, to that. Okay. That was. I, I would just add one thing, and that is that uh, if you haven't read Donnie's book, right, the Twelve Stages of Healing, that is a uh, that is one of the uh, books that has been transformational in my life personally. When I read it, I, it's. It's. It, I think it's a book that should be on everyone's list, uh, and they Thank can get you. that at Wisewell. Uh, yes, yep. Wisewell. Well. And healing is healing magic will help you help your practice members to understand what they're doing. I also have a program, a special program on chiropractic mastery, yeah. and this is a weekend program I did. I said that Danny and Michelle Knowles said, "Listen, you can teach technique. You, as a chiropractic master, you know how to understand the system. You know how to look and say what's going on. You know how to assess the system." You know how to apply a structural adjustment like no one I've seen on the planet and do that. Why don't you give these gifts of chiropractic mastery, how you learned these things, where you went and do it. This is a week, weekend program uh, and Dan helped pro produce the actual uh, material from the seminar. I want to and say something. It, yeah, and, and chiropractic master, that chiropractic mastery program is for any chiropractor regardless of right. technique. Um, that really is the gems of, I mean, Donnie's been in chiropractic three decades now. I'm going fourth decade. Going on in fourth decade. But I mean, has generations of wisdom in him and the stuff and the masters, which he's personally studied with and translated into his own mastery. Uh, but this chiropractic mastery program is for anybody, no matter what technique you do, what your application is, that real synthesis of the philosophy, the science, the art, the full package of being able to deliver the goods. Um, so, you know, for anybody and everybody who is a chiropractor or a chiropractic student. Thank well, you. Outstanding. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for this opportunity. Oh, once again, blown away. Uh, and I, I, I heard our, our last interview was the number one listened to. Yes. Well, let, let, let's top, top this it on this one. And make, make a sure, record here. Make a record here and make, and make sure you share this with others. Absolutely. Yeah, share this on your social media. Uh, get, the, get the word out. And again, if you want more information, uh, www.wiseworldseminars.com. Uh, thank you, Dan Lamberger. Yeah, thank, uh, thank you, you Donnie Epstein, for being bye with bye. us. We love bye you. Bye. We appreciate you. Thank, thank you. you, everybody. Bye bye. That was a stretch.